What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So in this video, I wanted to take you through an analysis of a stock, a specific stock that um, people have expressed interest in. During my streams, everybody has mentioned, you know, whether they talked about silver, they talked about, you know, uh, AMC, GME, they talked about uh, BB, you know, you have a number of ticker symbols that people will bring up in these streams. And I decided to check into a lot of these things and there's a lot of potential for, for some of these stocks, some that were highly shorted, uh, some that just have slow growth potential. But I wanted to talk about uh, FUBU TV in this video. I wanted to go through an analysis and just break some things down, what I think their potential is and where I think you can actually get in and get out. If you're looking for a, a longer term growth, then this could be a, a stock for you. Also, if you're looking for short term growth, this could be a stock for you because it's very volatile from the, the things that I see. So before we get started on this please hit that like button also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one and make sure that you get your free stocks with weeble down below that's the software that i'm using if you're interested in that also check out some of the credit card links that does help out the channel but i wanted to get into this fubu tv which is currently sitting at 48 dollars 78 cents um that's where it closed on friday so um it's looking pretty good it was down four percent on friday but up um, basically 0.66% in the after hours. But if I look at this, when it when I look at it as, um, you know, the 10,000 foot view, uh, 30 days, what's actually happening here? You can see a lot of increase. Yes, you do have a bunch of peaks and valleys here and you have a bunch of sell-off points, but the sell-off points um, end up making new lows. So you have this low here, which um, you, you buy it up and the sell-off points bring it down to a new low, which is higher than the old low, right? Then it starts to have that push up again, and then it makes a new low. You have that push up again. The thing that you're, you are seeing here is that it's kind of hitting a wall somewhere around that $57 mark. So this is what I see when I look at this at a 10,000 foot view. Now, if I look at it at a 100,000 foot view, you can see the reason why. Like you, you look at this stock and it, it really pushed up somewhere around here, really pushed up, right? And this is where you have that, that breaking point, that, that point to where you're like, all right, is it going to pass this? And I think long-term it will based on the normal trend, but with this hitting here, it wasn't ready to pass that $63 mark. People were ready to sell off because they were comfortable with the gains that they had down here. So when you look at this trend line here, you see how it's broken by this large hump, which pulls away, basically makes it falls out of line. So I totally uh, disregard that besides the fact of looking at this high where it's rejecting. And I start to go with this trend line. The trend line is up. It's been up for the past six months here, right? So as we start to get into a more um, detailed look of things, we get into, let's say we look at that month again, we get into the detailed look of things, we get to that point, And this is where we're seeing it reject the $57 mark, knowing that it rejected at the 60 plus dollar mark, but you still see that upward trajectory. So you see these new lows that it is creating as it goes through, creates these new lows and then creates this new low. What's it gonna do here? It's gonna increase a little bit and, and it's gonna create another new low right here. So I believe that this is definitely an opportunity to get in and then you can basically get out if you want it at that $60 mark because I think it will reject again up there. But you'll have a number of days to, to hold on to this and you'll see that, that movement. Now, if it does come down and create a brand new low here from this from this point, it creates a brand new low, then you know you can invest at that point. So always see what it's gonna do when the market actually opens, and then you can invest in something. Don't invest in something in the first 30 minutes unless you for sure know that it's going to come back or you know, um, you're comfortable with where you're getting in. So with how this is looking, it's looking absolutely phenomenal on this trend line, and I think it's going up uh, basically to that 61 mark and it's probably going to reject at that point so you can make a decent profit out of this and that's where I'm going to be getting in at as soon as the market opens I'm going to look at this and put some money into it because it definitely seems like an interesting not long term but longer term for me buy um, I usually like to play intraday but that's basically where I wanted to go with it. I mean, you look at this and even though it is going up and it's creating these these newer highs within the last um, you know 30 days, but you look at this, you go into the, the analysts and the analysts are all telling you to buy, strong buy, also hold it if you have it because it's continuing to go up. Um, also, FUBU uh, TV stock is actually a large majority of shorted stock. So as I start to go into some of the detail here, you can see that you have FUBU TV at 71%. Now, I don't know if they still stand at 71%, 
but this is a highly shorted stock. So we're going to need to really take a, a strong look into that. So that would be my analysis for FUBU uh, TV. It does look like a strong buy, just like the analyst says. Um, and this came across my desk, um, basically by the form of some, some subscribers. But then I, I looked at a lot of the information here and it looks like a strong buy, you know, uh, completely uphill. If you look at it here, you're going to say, oh, well, you know what? It's hitting its peak. But then you start looking at it as, you know, the 100,000 foot view and you see that it didn't actually, you know, reach its main peak. That's where the peak was, but it was a false peak. You know, it was a it was a push to buy all of this with a false peak to sell off at sixty three dollars. Right. So I think that it's going to have that that upward uh, movement. You have this full upward channel here. So I feel like um, it's definitely going to hit a, a brand new high sooner or later in the next week or so. Again, this is not financial advice. I'm merely just a person on YouTube. Don't follow me directly. But if you have the money to get interested in some of these positions, it's always great to get interested. Feel free to let me know what your suggestions are so we can look up some things and see what my analysis will be, what my breakdown will be of that long term, short term, what I think you can actually um, get into and how much I think you can make from it. But that's it, guys. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this analysis. Hopefully you enjoyed this breakdown. Let me know if you want to see any more. Um, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell for more videos just like this one. Also, check out the Weeble link down below. You can get free stocks when you sign up using Weeble, using my link. Um, and this is the platform that I'm using. Um, and if you have time, check out some of the credit card links. Those are interesting credit cards that give you a lot of rewards back. But I'm going to get out of here. I'll catch you guys in the next video.